Hey guys, AJ with Relentless Racing. Tonight, I'm gonna to be testing this starter. This starter came with my K20A2, and I honestly don't know if it works. So, let's check it out. I have a Shirai battery here. This is one of the batteries out of one of my race cars, and I have some test leads on it. The black here is connected to ground, and the yellow and the red are connected to hot. So, I'm gonna ground the body, by putting the black line right on here. Just gonna attach it just like that. So now the body's grounded. And then on this side, you have the positive post right here. And this is the trigger. Once you apply 12 volts to this guy, this is like turning on the ignition. Well, not the ignition, but when you click it over to position two, I believe. No, position three, when it's actually starting, that gets 12 volts. And this always has constant 12 volts. So that's the trigger right there. So let's hook up 12 volts to the constant position, which is this guy right here. I got it connected on there. And now, when you apply 12 volts to this spade back over here, this gear right here should push that direction and it'll start spinning. And this is the gear that actually spins your flywheel. So let's check it out. So I'm gonna apply power to here. And again, that gear should push forward and start spinning. And it looks like it's working. Let's do that again. Let me see, show you where this, the speed is right here. And you don't wanna leave this thing on too long. Not unless you have thicker wires, you can, but since I'm using these test leads, these aren't a lot, these aren't very thick wire gauges, so they really can't handle a lot of current. And this guy pulls quite a bit of current. So don't leave it on there too long. Also don't connect the ground and, I'm sorry, the hot side and the ground side of the batter, whether it be the leads or these two pieces as well. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this little instructional video on starters, testing them. Hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna go and check out another starter, which is an OE starter, and uh, I'm gonna buy that and hopefully put that in there because I prefer the OE starters over the aftermarket. Not that the aftermarket's bad, but I prefer the OE ones because I think that they are better quality. This is AJ with Relentless Racing. Thanks again for watching. Stay relentless and I'll see you on the track.